Let's have a look back then at the highlights of six hours of racing here at Paul Ricard. It began in hot temperatures and the sunshine. It began with a certain amount of incident with Porsche taking on Ferrari, full course yellows and safety cars, which straight away had an impact that would only really pan out five and a half hours later, in as much as some people pitted early, others stuck to their strategy of pitting on the hour mark. Guy Smith was on his toes trying to hustle his Bentley up the order. They had this big, spectacular engine drama for Ben Adelhe, who was out early on in the race with just 28 laps completed. Problems, though, for the number seven Bentley, as that ended up in its pit box with an intermittent fuel pickup problem. And that, sad to say, was then on the back foot as 84 Maxi Book gave way to Jimmy Erickson. And the battles raged on all the way through the field as Porsche, Ferrari and Audi ran side by side. After contact with Andrea Calderelli, Marcel Fassler had a suspension breakage and a loose wheel that pitched him into a spin. And that effectively was the end of that car. It was, in the end, able to do but 43 laps of the race. Everybody else, however, had their own travails, 89 Mercedes, for example, uh, having a wheel that parted company. That car eventually uh, crawled as far back to the pit lane as it could before it was stranded on the track, and Tom Blomquist's puncture did for that BMW as well. After the contact with Marcel Fassler, a one-minute stop-go penalty was given to Andrea Calderelli, and that dropped that car down the order as Marcus Winkelhock fell off the road. He had a bit of a wobble going up towards the fast right-hander at Senior, as Michele Rugolo then had to serve a drive-through penalty because he crossed the white line at pit in. He was able to recover from that and actually keep the lead, albeit it was a much reduced advantage over the second place Bentley and Rugolo ticked off the laps of his stint. Unlike Paul Marco Mapelli, who had a spectacular engine failure, he too was a retirement as the next round of pit stops cycled through. Jamie Green had a tyre let go and he had to limp into the pit lane losing time as a consequence in the ISR run Audi and then the 43 McLaren of Sam Tordoff had a drama and flicked itself off the road. Adam Christodoulou was working his way through the traffic, getting himself up past Frederick Verviche in uncompromising fashion as into the pit lane then came Bentley number eight. It was Andy Suchek who was installed for a double stint in the middle of the race. And once back on track, he set about trying to not only get past Michele Rugolo, but then pull away, which he did with alacrity to build up a healthy advantage going into the final part of the race, from which we had lost the number 99 BMW with that having uh, a problem with the front of the car, and it was retired. Whereas number seven, Bentley, continued to struggle with this intermittent fuel pickup problem. And that car, again, stopped on the track, struggled to the pit lane, and although it went back into the race, it would in the end be retired. Number four, put Yelma Berman behind the wheel as we had the change of lead in Pro-Am as up through uh, went Martin Kodric against Salah Yoluk, the Lamborghini getting ahead of the Aston Martin. And then Yoluk made contact here with Jamie Green, the spin dropping the car down the order in Pro-Am and Jamie Green copping a 30 second stop go penalty for his part in the incident. From daylight, into the darkness of the cars race with 27 for Rizzio Cristani having a bit of a slide. And then as Bentley number eight cycled through its last couple of stops, Maxime Sule installed behind the wheel of the car as the field plunged into the darkness. Number four, the Black Falcon pole sitting Mercedes was out of sequence on pit stops, but still was running in that leading group until effectively the last hour of the race when it had a gearbox issue that cost the car any chance, not only of a good result, but of a finish as well, as the car was retired to the pit lane. Number seven, Bentley, would have Stephen Kane aboard for the last stint, but sadly that was another car that retired, as number three ended up rotating, as the number four Mercedes did its best to stay in that leading group, and 114 Jaguar also limping into the pit lane. Maxim Sule, though, just had to tick off the laps in this final stint as the Cosmopolitan Bentley entry headed for victory here at Paul Ricard, a race that then lost Franck Pereira's Mercedes trackside and the HTP car, which was running in the top four out of the race. It was party time for some as the teams battle their way into the darkness. A problem for the number 35, Nico Menzel driven BMW, a punctured tyre brought that to the pit lane and retirement as Maxim Sule readied himself for the last all important stint. The car was refuelled, it blasted back into the race 
as number 50 Ferrari then had problems as well. A fuel valve being cited as the drama. Alex Bunker was hard at work trying to get himself onto the tail of Renegade Rang van der Zander. In the end, he was passed by a hard-charging Rene Rast, who went on to get himself up into third place. Van der Zander, though, was really on his toes, elbows out as he tried to get past Matt Griffin. What should have been the last pit stop for Lukas Stoltz turned out to be the penultimate stop, the last one being its retirement as it limped to the pit lane, as also did poor Stephen Kane, number seven Bentley having all the bad luck for M Sport. Concerned faces on the pit wall as they knew that one car was leading and the other had problems, but so too number four, it was pushed down the pit lane and a retirement with the failed gearbox meant that out of the race was a car that had looked so strong for much of it. The Black Falcon car out of the race. There were nervous faces in the pit box for number eight, but in the end, it was a win for the M Sport Bentley of Vincent Abril, Andy Suchek and Maxime Soule at the end of a drama-filled six hours with Barwell Motorsport taking Pro-Am honours as well. Second place would go the way of the SMP Racing Ferrari, but it was a popular race win. M Sport and the Bentley Continental GT3 winning here at Paul Ricard. Maxime Soule, Andy Suchek and Vincent Abril winning this unofficial warm-up for the Spa 24 hours. Our blue ribbon race at the end of July. It's been another great race. Thanks for your company. From John Watson and David Addison from Paul Ricard. Bonne nuit.